Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life what will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. This video is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is going to show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. So Virgo, what is your overall vibe for the month? And the vibe is that there is no challenge, okay? You don't have to think about how hard is this going to be because there's no challenge in front of you, okay? So either you're making a mountain out of a molehill or maybe you're a little bit bored because there is no challenge. But what they're saying is to change the way that you think about things. That's the whole point of this month, okay? Let's shift the way our mindset is going. How can we look at things differently? Maybe things aren't as challenging as we thought. Maybe they're easier than we thought, or like I said, maybe we're making a mountain out of a molehill, okay? So keeping all of that in mind, will you find your pot of gold? And so maybe this is not the month where you do. And it kind of seems that way for all of the earth signs so far, to be honest. This is maybe not the month where you get super rich super quick, but you already knew that and so this isn't surprising. Maybe it's disappointing to hear it, but like I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I wanna tell you the truth. You're like, okay, no big deal. You know, Is there anything you need to be worried about with your finances though? And they say, absolutely not. Nothing catastrophic, no big horrible surprise coming out of the blue, so don't fret, all right? Now, um, are you going to get lucky in love? So if you are single, what they say is, okay, so um, there's not much to hold on to, as you know, as far as like potential matches that you currently have go or whatever. Um, you know, maybe you're dating online. It's like, meh, you don't feel super attached to them. Um, but for whatever reason, some of you are super, super focused, as you can see right here. He's um, super, super focused. This way, when it's upright, okay, you can see he's like looking out into the distance. He's seeing what else is out there. But when it's in reverse, he's got his eyeball on what's right there in his hand, okay? So what is it that's in your hand that you're focused on? Is that somebody from the past because we're in the shadow period of a Mercury retrograde? Or is it somebody that, like, they're probably not for us, but they're around, so we're giving them adequate attention? Um, so... The next thing that they're saying here is it's like, this is more of a month for lovers and not long-term serious relationships. The vibe for this month might be like, eh, this person's here, I'm gonna hold on to them because they're a good lay, but probably not a good long-term outcome. Now, does that somehow inhibit you from finding the right person? And they're like, not really, because you can sort of juggle it with your situation. And so it's not actually a bad thing this month if you want to do that, so long as you can remember not to focus on them coming up in April, May, June, right? Okay, so if you are coupled and you're a Virgo, what I would be worried about is some sneakiness, some deception, some lies. Now, is that you or your other, um, or, or your partner? And what they're saying is, it doesn't even matter how this plays out because either way it's unlucky that the person's gonna get caught so you'll know very quickly is this me if you're lying you're being sneaky or deceptive hey warning sign you're gonna get caught if it's not you well guess what you're gonna find out um i guess for these kinds of situations for all Virgos and remember I said earlier in the beginning of this video like you probably want to watch this video right here um, to know how this applies because love readings are better done when they're moon signs and that'll explain it all for you but um, in this kind of situation you would probably want to do a personal reading 
not necessarily with me if you don't trust me yet maybe you're new um, but if you do or um, do it for yourself or you know have somebody else give you a reading to give you clear insight as to what specifically that is if you're concerned about it okay um, because for all people it would be hard to get that information it just create more confusion as and chaos as they say here um, so anyway couples that's what's up anything else here they're just like the vibe is all about calling people out on things you can give them an opportunity as she reaches out her hand here right and she says oh my gosh this isn't recording again okay so she's reaching out her hand and she's saying hey i'm gonna give you a chance to tell me the truth or to come clean but if you lie to me i've got this sword and i'm gonna cut your dick off or your head off or you know whatever and she wouldn't actually maybe cut them maybe she would i hope not i'm not advocating for that i'm not a proponent for violent violence but i'm saying the point is is you know put it out there so that um it can be told to you what's going on but you have a good bullshit detector you're gonna know the difference okay so if you are in an it's complicated situation, whereas it's an on again, off again relationship, maybe it's not Facebook official, um, you don't know what to call it right now because you're just talking to each other or whatever. Um, here's what is up for you in March. And they're saying, you know, you're not being selfish in this situation, so that's good. Um, but you're not completely isolated and alone here either. Um, the thing is is that you should be more confident you know you should have that little tiny bit of suspicion here as to what's going on with this person if you're in that situation but you should largely be more comp um you should largely be more confident than you are suspicious just a tiny little dose is all that's healthy in this situation okay feel really confident about the direction that it's going because things are going to change and in a positive way okay old parts of the relationship that maybe didn't work for you are going to die things are going to change the death card means change in a positive way in this instance and it might not always feel positive before it occurs but there is going to be a positive change here for you so in those situations if it ends that just means something better is coming or if it just completely changes the vibe here changes it's actually for the better for you okay now where in your life do you need to push your luck to get ahead like so where do we use the law of attraction what should we be focusing on and they're like mindset shifting so actually it's like i get to choose what i believe so that we don't get to control the thoughts that we have but we get to choose the ones that we buy into okay so maybe you want to make an affirmation that says i will consciously choose to believe that I can have what I want, that I can achieve the goals that I set. I will, I will, um, maybe I will affirm that I choose my mindset. Whatever it is that you've decided to change the way you think about to benefit you moving forward to get what you want, Write that down in the comments below. Affirm it to the universe because when we move from a mental place to actually putting it down on paper or writing it on the internet or whatever, then it becomes real, it becomes tangible. And the reason why writing is so important is because we have to spell out the words that we are um, trying to attract and manifest, right? And that's why they call it spelling, because it's like casting a spell. It makes it more real, it makes the universe know what to do, okay? Because when it's in our thoughts, we can sit there and argue about it and debate it, but now it's a real thing once we put it down in writing. So. What kind of warnings or rain will be hitting your life? Um, so they're saying you might be feeling a little bit crazy, especially if you're in one of those situations like the couples were, where they're like, hey, here's an opportunity for you to come and give me the information that I'm asking, but I can sense the bullshit. Um, so the challenge is to make sure that you focus on your own self care, okay? Um, if you don't, focus on what it is that you truly need if you give too much to others if you put others ahead of you um, or if you're just too busy like you should never be too busy to make time for yourself even 30 seconds of just like deep breathing is self-care okay making sure that you do that is going to be the most important thing so that you don't end up feeling like a crazy person um so what will the rainbow be after that like what is the reward of 
doing that self-care and they're like, well, you might not get what you want 100%, but you'll at least be able to think about this time period as a positive one in the future. You'll be able to look back and have happy memories instead of negative ones, even though maybe it's not the outcome you're wishing for or hoping for, but then there's not this like giant mountain of resentment. And so they're saying like, you'll be able to leave the past in the past and move forward without that fear of like bad things always going to happen. So your mindset is super, super important this month. Believing that good things happen to me, even if bad things have happened in the past, good things can happen in the future. And I think it was in the Capricorn video that I mentioned, you know, our society has a lot of conflicting mindsets. Like we say, history repeats itself about bad things, but then we also say the only constant is change. So you get to choose what do you believe, okay? And so now we're gonna move on to the crystal of the month. What is your power crystal for the month? Celestial aura. This crystal is also known as Lavender Aura. Sometimes we'll just call it Celestial Lavender Aura. As you likely know, Aura crystals are created by humans. They are a quartz crystal that is treated with chemicals or with heat in order to create a specific effect or color for the crystal. However, this mutation or this treatment does give it a different quality or spiritual use or functionality than if it were just general clear quartz. Celestial lavender or a quartz crystal is safe to run under cold water to cleanse it and it's also safe in the moonlight. We could sage this to clear it, we can soak it in salt water, but you might want to avoid sunlight for recharging it. The angels associated to the lavender celestial or a quartz crystal are Yella Aya and Ambriel. The Celestial Lavender Aura Quartz Crystal works with all of the chakras at once, all chakras together. This crystal creates harmony and alignment of the chakras. It creates harmony and alignment of the aura, the meridians, as well as harmony and alignment within your physical body. It facilitates the use of the spiritual gifts that you already possess and it's helpful in group activities. It brings healing and peace to home environments, especially if somebody new moves into the house. It helps to dissipate jealousy and resentment. This crystal is fantastic for aiding you in feelings of grief and loss. It helps to detoxify your body and it promotes cooperation. It creates a group consciousness and a sentiment of unselfishness. This crystal diffuses energies of self-centeredness, confrontation, and it helps to eliminate fear and antisocial behaviors. The Celestial Lavender Aura Quartz Crystal diffuses energies of loneliness, and it increases your ability to feel open and friendly. This crystal enhances your metaphysical abilities, and it heals your spirit as well as your individual cells within the body. This crystal helps you to reframe past situations and it promotes karmic justice as well as self-forgiveness. This crystal will help you to notice and appreciate beauty, abundance, and joy within your life. This crystal will also help to treat skin problems, allergic reactions. It assists in infertility and it can also help those going through difficult pregnancies. This crystal can help to treat cleft palate and other congenital deformities. However, it is a crystal, especially in cluster formation that we should set next to people or on top of them, but not in them. Do not put it in the mouth of a person with cleft palate because it has been treated either by heat, radiation, or with chemicals to create its current state out of a clear quartz crystal. When this crystal rarely but occasionally occurs in the cactus formation, all of its properties are amplified a zillion times in every direction. This stone is also known for speeding up the effects of moldavite crystals. So if you have a moldavite crystal that you want to use, use it in conjunction with the celestial lavender or a quartz.